All right, so our very first card, we're gonna create this pansy card. So the first thing we're gonna do is, sorry, I pointed to the wrong part. First thing we're gonna do is the blue background, and then we're going to do the stenciling for the pansies. So the great thing about the stencil, it has all the different parts to create the one um, image, so you don't need anything more than that. All of the stencils for this class are in the same package of sensors. There's 10 of them, so there's lots of different choice. So I've got just a dye ink pad here, and I'm just lightly doing a circular motion. I'm just trying to get some blue onto the background. I'm not trying to make it solid in any way, shape, or form. I'm just trying to get the look, basically, of a sky behind it. So I don't need to do anything don't need to dry it or anything that ink will dry on its own you will need some painters tape because we want to tape off anything we don't want inked I'm using some um, brushes to ink this stencil and even if you're really really careful it's very easy to get it into an area you don't want so the easiest way to ensure that that doesn't happen is by using some painters tape just to block it off and this painter's tape I'm gonna reuse throughout the class. So I'm going to go into my darkest purple for this. For pansies, you can choose whatever ink color you want. You can have fun with the ink colors. I'm choosing to just do very simple purple pansies. Now I'm using a circular motion and I try to go in a few different directions because you'll find that sometimes the ink doesn't really wanna go in one place in, an, uh, the, in the stencil, but if you change direction, then it fills in that area nicely. I'm gonna take my excess ink off on a scrap piece of paper. The next ink color that I'm gonna be using is a lighter purple color, so I don't want to have some dark purple still on my, um, on my brush when I do that. I'm just gonna tape this down so it doesn't accidentally shift on me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the flower sections and then I'm gonna clean my stencil off completely and then I'm gonna do the leaf sections. So I'm gonna leave that on the end there just to hold it in place while I'm taping the other areas here. So for the background, I used just regular Distress Ink, which is a dye ink. For the flowers, I'm gonna use some Oxide Ink. That is a dye and pigment blend. And what it's going to do, it's just gonna give a more opaque look if you wanted it a little bit more transparent, you could just use dye ink to do that as well. It would work the same way. It would just be a little bit more transparent. So this tape here, I'm gonna be putting it on to a piece that has some ink on it. When I'm done with this tape, I'm gonna to toss it because I'm gonna have some ink on that sticky side and I don't want to accidentally transfer it to something else on my card. So now I'm going to do the lighter purple. we go I absolutely love color layer stamps and this is a neat way to get a similar look to color layer stamps but just in a different format and you have a little bit more variety with this because as you'll see throughout the class you can also use different pastes and stuff like that all right so we've got the light color in there now I want to do the centers and I'm gonna do them in a pale yellow. I'm gonna put this tape over the purple ink just because I don't wanna pick it up with the yellow brush. If by chance, like my tape ha or my, um, yeah, my tape has some ink there, I'm just gonna wipe it off with a wipe just so that I don't mix that into the yellow. And then I've got a smaller brush just to be able to get a little bit more just because the area in the stencil for this is really, really tiny. This part here, I could have taped it off, but with such a small brush in the tiny area, I figure I had enough control that I didn't have to worry about it. So these ones here, they've been on top of ink and you can see there's no way to get ink off of a sticky part of tape. So I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to go wash and completely dry the stencil and I will be right back. All right, all done. So these inks that I'm using to stencil are pigment inks, or sorry, pigment dye blend inks, but they're super, super easy to clean off. They're water soluble. So you don't have to worry about um, using soap and water to remove the ink. Just some running it under water rinses everything off. But the main thing, cause you're gonna continue working on your piece is you want to make sure 
to completely dry it. We don't want to have any moisture on that stencil because it will reactivate the inks underneath it. All right, so I'm going to use the darker of the greens and I've got a smaller brush for this just because all of these areas are really, really tiny. And we're just using circular motions. I'm leaving the little tip here and what I'm gonna end up doing, I didn't do it on my sample card, I left those green, but I think what I'm gonna do is just take my purple brush and just see if I can get a little bit of purple tips. You know how sometimes when you get buds, you see just a touch of that color of the flower? Oh, I just <laughs> went over that side. You see a touch of the color of flower? I just thought it might be fun to get that in there. So just a hint, it doesn't need to be a lot. And it will mix in with the um, green, but that is okay. And the taping can be can feel a little bit tedious as you're doing it. But I promise you, you're going to regret it if you don't do it. So now I'm matching this bottom part here. And this bottom part also has this part here. This here is actually from the top in here. And I don't want that one there. All right, and now I'm going to do the lighter color. Because I've got darker green on my scrap piece of paper here. I'm just going to rub some of the excess off and then I'm going to go in with my lighter green. And it might be counterintuitive to do dark first and then light, but when you see leaves, usually the center of the center of the plant is usually the darker part and the part that's outer and sees more of the light is typically with the lighter part. So it's easy enough to go dark to light and then just clean your brush right off. All right, so there we go. I'm going to lift that up. Now let's do this part here at the top. And these stencils, I mean, it's a little bit, a little bit opaque, but it's easy enough to see below, below them to know exactly where those pieces go. There we go. So this one here, I'm going to do the dark again. And then we'll do the light. Take this off here. I'm going to just use those bits to hold it in place. And there we go. Perfect. So let's lift this up. And painter's tape is a great tape to use for this. It's inexpensive for an entire roll. I've used my dye tape before, but it's a lot more expensive and I'd rather not use it all up for something like this. Cause you do tend to use a little bit or a lot of it for this. You could also use washi tape, that would work as well. All right, so this piece is totally done, but what I wanna do, I'm gonna um, clean that in a moment. You don't have to worry about it drying on the stencil because it's always gonna be water reactive. So I've got a mini mister here. It's got some water in it. And then I've put some um, Perfect Pearls in there. This is just the Perfect Pearl color Perfect Pearls. So it's gonna be nice and transparent. But what it does is it just adds a really, really pretty shimmer to it. So I tend to put an even coat over the whole thing. If you get a little bit too heavy, it's going to start to bleed a little bit. I was okay with that. I like the look of it bleeding out a little bit. I just thought it made it look a little, made it look a little bit more interesting. But if you don't want it to do that, then just be aware of how much you're putting on. Oops, and make sure that you're very light-handed with it. I'm doing it about, I wanna say a foot away from it. There you go. So see, it's already wicking out there. It's going to do that and I like the look of that and I wanted the look of that. You don't have any control over where it's going to do that, so you need to be okay with that. But um, I just thought it looked more interesting with the look. So I'm gonna wait for that to completely dry and then I'll see you back and we'll complete the card.